Any any thoughts on the shutdown of the of the government and this whole fight over? You know, the the Republicans wanted to defund Obamacare, and now we're in a shutdown of the government. Does that just not surprise you, or is it just a ridiculous situation? Well, I'm not surprised because I think it is the manifestation of some things that have been happening in our society uh, that uh, we have uh, emphasized what we think is in our individual best interest over what we think is in the broader community's uh, interest. Uh, we've been in this uh, battle of whether uh, government has a le legitimate and appropriate role in our lives. Uh, and if it has uh, such, uh, to what extent? Uh, this has become the focus of the issue about Obamacare. Very few people that I've heard stand up and say the health care system that we have had for the last 20 years that has brought us almost one out of five Americans without health insurance uh, has uh, uh, more than doubled the relative cost of health care in the United States, making us by far the most expensive country for health care in the world, uh, and uh, that our outcomes are uh, not consistent with the amount of input that we are committing to our health care system. So the status quo is not satisfactory. Uh, what If you don't like the plan that currently is underway, what is your alternative? Uh, just to be an obstructionist and say no is not fulfilling your responsibility of uh, contributing to uh, understanding our current problem and what our alternatives are uh, to uh, make it better. The chemical weapons issue in Syria, any, any thoughts about the way the, the president has handled that? Uh, I think he's handled it about as well as you could, uh, getting the Russians involved who've been uh, the Syrian leadership's strongest ally uh, was uh, extremely important, uh, not only in getting the chemical weapons issue dealt with, but I think moving towards uh, a settlement of the now almost three-year-long civil war uh, in Syria, uh, and may indicate that Russia and the United States can cooperate on other issues, such as the uh, Iranian nuclear program. Well, I know a lot of people were critical of the president when he was talking about a possible missile attack on Syria. Mm. I don't know if you agreed that that was a, probably too hasty of a move or n not. Well, I think, you know, if, uh, we have an international treaty which m almost all the countries in the world up until two weeks ago, not including Syria, had agreed to which said that you can fight all kinds of, uh, of wars with bullets and bombs, but you cannot use chemical weapons. And there have not been chemical weapons used extensively uh, in warfare uh, in many decades. Uh, and I think that uh, that was an important uh, distinction to make and maintain. Total switch gears. A lot of talk right now about low lake levels in, uh, in Florida. Is the low water only the drought? Is it over pumping uh, too many water permits from the St. John's and Swanee River and other water management districts? Um, and I'll, I'll leave it at that at the moment because there is a big permit being requested by Mr. Uh, Frank Stronick of the billionaire who owns quite a lot of land. Um, near the Silver Springs watershed there, and uh, thoughts that you have from all of your experience, environmental experience, on have we, are we over pumping? Well, we actually have two problems. We have a quantity problem, uh, which is a product of, yes, the long uh, running drought that we had through uh, much of the last uh, decade, uh, but also the, the permanent issue of overconsumption. Many of the rivers and streams in Florida 
have more water committed uh, to various purposes uh, from cooling utility plants to putting water in our uh, bathroom faucet uh, than there is water in the system. Uh, but the second problem is, is quality. Uh, there's been a very big spike, uh, particularly in phosphorus and uh, uh, nitrogen in our water supply, uh, and that is changing the character of our rivers and streams. So we've got to fight both of those battles concurrently. Would you want to see the permit denied on the Adena Springs Ranch, uh, given it's so close to the Silver Springs watershed? I, I have a personal opinion. Well, uh, yes, uh, because I think that uh, that is a, uh, a very large consumptive use permit in an area that has already shown the, the, the serious signs uh, of the consequences of overuse uh, and drawing the amount of water in the system below that which is necessary to sustain itself. I know you've been a champion of the springs and really started this uh, organization really rolling to, to preserve the springs. Are you excited about Silver Springs becoming a state park? I, uh, th that gives us the uh, potential to uh, take better care of the springs because now it's going to be the state's responsibility uh, and uh, provide more uh, appropriate and adequate access to the springs for all the kinds of, of happy experiences that, that I had at Silver Springs growing up in Florida and that uh, uh, most uh, young Floridians of my age uh, had available to them. I know you wrote the book Keys to the Kingdom and um, you know just since the past few years we've seen some very major leaders um, be executed and are gone um, from Gaddafi to Osama bin Laden, Saddam Hussein. Um, how does that play into you know your knowledge of of the Middle East and the fears of the past going into the future? Things do you think things are, are moving in a more positive direction with the ouster of of those leaders? Yeah. Uh, historically, uh, the Middle East has known little about democracy. It did not make the transition from authoritarian. Uh, monarchs and uh, generals uh, that uh, Europe and North America did two or three hundred years ago. Uh, now uh, there seems to be an emerging desire by the people to be in control of their government. As we are learning today in the United States, democracy, even for a country as mature as ours, is not easy business. It's messy and uh, can uh, disappoint. Uh, we're going to have messiness and disappointment in the Middle East, but I think that the fundamental direction towards a government and a society which is responsible to the people and not to uh, a few unelected dictators and autocrats uh, will uh, serve as well.